middle name is John. One of my middle name. My second name is John. And uh, people used to call me Doc. That's one part of it. But also there was a famous Gregory guy in the wall and his name of Dr. John, who was a free man of color uh, from the Bambara people of Africa. And he was, uh, uh, he was hooked up with my great, great, great Aunt Pauline. You got me. What you gonna do? Say you finish John Paul. Honored to, when I was a teenager, to have worked with a lot of my heroes, whether it was uh, Charles Brown, uh, people that I heard of, Joe Turner, and later working with uh, Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin. You know, those were special because I loved those depth, and those, that means a lot to me. And uh, back in the 50s, it did. Union skills wasn't no money. It was like we got $27 for a recording day for three hours or six hours to do a whole album. And uh, so it wasn't like a big financial thing, and it sure wasn't anything else. The, everybody worried more about their real gigs. After, whenever the recording sessions and we went to work. Well, I came up with guys that when you worked in the studio scene in New Orleans, they, they always told us, like the younger guys, myself, Alan Toussaint that's playing there, but all of us, we were told like, you gotta respect all the music, and you gotta do, you got to do these things if you're gonna play on records. Go play old Louis Jordan too. I had so many on that. Get to all my teachers from A.J. Goma, Walter Papus, Nelson, Ron Montreal. Those guys were big influence and they turned me on to more guitar players. Like when I started with my second guitar teacher, Papus, he taught me how to play like T-Bone Walker and that's about the time I started doing recording sessions. Now have you ever been down to New Orleans? But then around New Orleans, there was so many bad killer piano players, whether it was Professor Long and everybody, James Booker, Alan Tucson, Art Neville, it was just go on and on with piano players. That's why I figured if I'm going to play music professional, I might as well start with a guitar because I'll probably never get a job. It was just so many killer piano. But all of those things left big influences on it, but there were piano players like Charles Brown. Lloyd Glenn, there was millions of piano players. Beside all the guys in New Orleans, like I said, like Professor Longhead, Huey Piano Smith, those were probably my first two major influences, but there was a plenty of guys, and that's just how it is. You gotta listen to everything, you know? Ain't never seen such a rolling in a soul in till the break of dawn. I could get away if I just had me half a chance. You know, when my father passed away, Professor Longham became kind of like a father figure to me. And I would go hang out at his pad with his daughter, Wilhelmina. And, and uh, I don't know, he was just a sweet guy. But uh, Professor Longham, son, one night, it, like at the club after the gig, and he said he needed a band to do one gig. And he had so much influence over all of us. We all quit this gig with Roy Byrne. It was a steady six night a week gig. To do one gig with Professor Long, and it didn't even happen. And uh, you know what, it was like, we had more fun rehearsing and just backing him up. There was no place like it on earth. And now it's gone. And it's, there's no excuse for this. 
and uh, uh, we had the best of the seafood, and we shipped stuff all over the world. All right, listen, I, I made a record right after the storm called Zipiana Hurricane to tell people, don't send money to big business if you want to help Louisiana. I, I mentioned a few places they could send. There's more places. Soon you'll be in the gutter. People put the money in people's hands. your heart like butter. I can make you stutter. Get back to town. Kitty, kitty, come, come. Walk on, do this, spend Well, there's a lot of things on here. It all means something to me personally. This. Scare uh, my sister gave to me. She was a citizen of the year a lot of times in uh, somewhere in Mexico they make that. And then this uh, little bell was given to me. It's, it's, uh, this cross was given to me by somebody many, 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 many years ago. But all the things on here, the seashell, everything, all mean something to me. And it's just... Uh, these are all good things for me to keep around. I try to keep everything simple and good.